So when it comes to high intensity interval training for fat loss, sprinting really separates itself from the pack for two primary reasons. The first is that it absolutely taxes the body's anaerobic energy systems. And the second is that it essentially involves the entire body from head to toe. Think about it, the arms are driving as hard as possible, the feet are exerting maximal force on the ground in each and every step, and the core is working to withstand immense forces being placed on the trunk. Combine that with the fact that the environment is dynamic and rapidly changing, and it's really hard to become efficient or more in cruise control, as is the case with rowing or biking. It's important to keep rest intervals fairly short here since our goal is fat loss, and we can stretch these sprints out to 15 to 30 seconds to really get our heart rate up and tap into that anaerobic energy system.